Uh, in a trapezium ABCD, AB is parallel to DC and diagonals BD and AC intersect at O. So you have a trapezium if the area of the triangle BOC is 210 square units and OA by OC is 3 by 7. Find the area of the trapezium. So let's draw the figure. So we have the figure over here ABCD, uh, B and D intersect at O. Uh, the area of the triangle BOC, so this is BOC, this area is 210 square units. OA by OC, so we have OA, so this part by OC, OC is this part as 3 to 7, so it's already taken as 3A and 7A. Find the area in square units of the trapezium. Okay, now let's start observing this. First of all, you can see that this triangle, uh, this angle and this angle are vertically opposite angles, so they are equal. Now, because ABCD is a trapezium, your AB is parallel to CD. Therefore, this angle here will be equal to this angle. Now, two angles in a triangle are same, which means ABO is similar triangle to CDO. If that is the case, then the ratio of the sides should be equal. So OA by OC, if it is OA by OC, if it is 3 by 7, then you will also get OB by OD should also be 3 by 7 because the condition or one of the properties of similar triangles is that the ratio of the sides are equal. So if one ratio is 3 by 7, the other ratio also has to be 3 by 7. Okay, now let's move on. So the next thing that we need to look at is how do we use this 210? Now, this is a very interesting idea. Uh, the idea is well known, but take a look at it. Observe the line AC. Now, this AC is AO plus OC, correct? Now, on AO, you have, consider AO as the base. So you have the triangle AOB. Consider OC as the base. You have the triangle uh, OCB, correct? Now, if you if you notice that both the triangles ha will have the same height. Why? Because it is the same straight line. So the height for both the triangles will be this part. And this is the same height. So you have two triangles whose height is the same, which means their areas should be in the ratio of their sides. Their areas should be in the ratio of their sides. So, uh, rather, so area of their base, sorry, their area should be in the ratio of their bases. So here the base is 3a, here the base is 7a. So the ratio is 3 is to 7. So area of triangle, area of triangle AOB by area of triangle OBC should be 3 is to 7. And AOB is unknown. Let's call it as X by OBC. We know it is 210. So your X should be equal to 7 goes 30 times 90. So this is 90. Okay. Now, once you get that, by that logic, we will get a very, uh, we, we have a very similar understanding for this as the base. DO and OB is the same straight line. On DO, you have this triangle as the base and on OB, you have this triangle as the base. So, triangle AOD by triangle OAB should be the ratio of their bases, that is 7 by 3, should be equal to, now this is unknown, let's call it as Y by 90. So, you'll get Y again as 200 and 10. So this is 210. Okay. Now the question is how do we get this part? Now we already have this idea that AOB, ABO and CDO are similar triangles. If they are similar triangles, we, one of the properties of similar triangles is that the ratio of the areas is uh, the ratio of the areas is equal to is equal to the square of the ratio of the sides. So what we'll have here is this ratio area of area of triangle ABO by area of triangle CDO should be equal to the side square, right? So this should be 9 by 49. 
because 3 by 7. So we already have ABO which is 90. So this is 90 by what we want to find is Z. So your Z will turn out to be 490. So this is 490. So we have, we have got all of them 210 twice. So that is 420 and 490 and a 90. This gives you 9, 18, 20, 0, 2, 4, 4, 8, 10, 000. So that is option C. Okay. So that's your option C, question number six.